They wanted to belong to something devoted to no-nonsense good times. Right, getting us out of the way in the studio, we have Status Quo and Caroline. In 1973, Status Quo took to our screens with their first top five hit. We all look like criminals. Perfect's got a denim jacket on. And I always remember that look, that old denim look. Everybody was in denim. Though such an effortless style statement, Quo's denim look would have a powerful impact. It would help them amass an army of devoted fans and help establish denim as a uniform of our everyday lives. Today, the grand old men of Boogie Rock can be found preparing for yet another money-spinning tour. Lovely job, lovely. Though they've travelled a long road, the boys can still recall the days before denim. Oh, look at that fucking... Yeah. <laughs> that was that period where we just got our foot in the door and we were groomed and told to look like this and all wear these frilly shirts. Quo emerged in 1968, frolicking around as a psychedelic pop act. I don't think any of us liked it, did we? But just no. to have a hit. And then when somebody gives you the call, you're going on top of the... I'm going on top of the pops. I mean, it was, it was amazing. But no sooner had they donned their flowery jackets and foppish hair, the sun set on psychedelia. They were one-hit wonders and soon forgotten. Can I swear on this? We thought, fuck this. No, you fucking We're can't, these can you? frilly shirts. And we didn't like it. We, we didn't like it at all. So we completely changed our image. The band looked deep within themselves and discovered they were just normal blokes who liked cars, motorbikes and a beer or two. And living as they did on the long tail of the rock and roll rebellion, in came long hair and denim, t-shirts and denim, and denim shirts and more denim. Get into the jeans, you know, and get out of those bell bottoms and wear a denim jacket. It looked hard and it fitted with everything that we wanted to be. With their new image, Quo began to gain a small but dedicated following. Despite the best efforts of psychedelia, the 70s was a time when men were still men. Over 30% of our workforce still worked in manufacturing. They took one look at Quo and thought, that's the band for me. The whole thing about Quo was the link with the audience. It became that. The audiences were looking the same as the band, the band the same as the audience, which was great. They always treated the audience with as if they were just one of them, you know. <laughs> 